Well, okay, just focused. Pick the camera up because uh, I want you to have a look at um, Little Miss Eat Everything that might be offered to her girl up here, Miss Tessa. And trust me, guys, she is not hungry. She just knocked back, well, last night, so not just, she just knocked back two wieners. And they were large wieners. They weren't little ones. So there is just no way that Tessa is hungry. And I, I was really quite surprised this morning. I really wasn't anywhere near her. I don't even know why I came over here to do anything. But next minute, I had actually gone and sat down, so I wasn't even anywhere near here. She hit that glass. So, slow reaction to me being here, but um, yeah, that's Tessa, isn't it? Totally my Tessa. You'd eat another one, wouldn't you? Totally eat another one if I were to put one in there for you. And the thing, and what I'll mention with Tessa is if she doesn't nail that rat fair on the head, she will drop it fair out of her mouth, drop it to the ground, come back up, sit there looking at me. And it's about her waiting for me to go in, which with Tessa, when there's a rat about, is not the most best thing to do with Tessa but I get the longest tongs and I have to hold it up for her to take it a second time and pretty much position it so that I know that she's going to get the head and she's done it to me so many times that I've now tuned into this is what she does and this is how she she will do it I don't get that head and you're going to pick it up and I'm kind of take it for the second time and get it into a better position. Now, I don't know whether that's because she's too lazy to find the head or I've made a habit of doing that for her now and she just expects me to do it but um, that's just one of her little peculiar, peculiarities um, that Tessa has apart from being my most um, stubborn in all of my snakes to get her to chill. Do you get wet? She looks a little wet. Now she's um, looking on how to do it. Well, you let go, didn't you? Hey? Yeah, I'm here. But it's okay. I'm not opening the door. Missy? You just get on to eating. Okay? No, it's not in the water bowl. You 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 were already in there. You've you've come on out. Hey, you, well, no, this is a camera and it's me. You've, you've got the rat. You've totally got it. Or do you think she's just saying, don't open the door? I don't know. Or don't watch me trying to eat it. Go away. One or the other. Oh. Sorry. This girl. Stop it. Stop it, Missy Moo. A lot of the time, you know, and of all the snakes, that it is a lot of the time 
it's Tessa that I have to go back in and pick that rat up and re-offer it, offer it to her and then she gets it fair right on the head and then she's she's good to go but if she doesn't get it fair on the head she will drop it and it is almost like she expects me to go in there and pick that thing up for her and offer it to her head first again like <clears throat> yeah She's already taking bigger breaths, but I think she's realizing this is a camera and not something that, you know, that tongue's flicking, she can't taste anything, so, but then she can't taste me as such when I'm standing this far away, but would still strike at that, uh, that door, wouldn't you? That glass. Because you don't know it's there until you bonk your mush into it, do you? Hey? And believe me, sometimes she's hit that pretty hard. But that was all I really wanted to do was just kind of show you what she is exactly like and sits there looking at me. And in a way, I'll be kind of glad when she's not up here and I've got her down lower um, as well. Which I keep saying, well, she's pretty good in here for now. Um, you know, she's certainly getting longer, but, you know, you think she takes up that tiny little space over there or she comes and hangs up here under a heat, heating panel. I have seen her down in the warm hide sometimes, but more often than not, she's she's over here. But in winter, that could could change a little bit, and she might be spending a bit more time over here. And like a few of my snakes, the only time that Tessa actually goes and hides is when she's in shed. Otherwise, she's she's out and looking around, and you know what's going on out here. Jesse, well, he's done pretty good, as you can see, over onto the cooler side, so that's good, it's telling me temps are all, all pretty good. Uh, let's check out a Pani. She's up there keeping nice and warm under the heat, don't see her in her hides, very rarely, and she does have a heat arm pad under her so she could go down there and keep nice and warm but she's always been one to like to come out and yeah have a look around since she's gone into that enclosure Maya is currently chilling up there on her hammock and having a snooze and she's eating just fine and I don't know which height my girl is, Sia is in uh, nope she's not over sorry as I'm squizzing she's not over on the warm side so I'd say she's over in that cooler height because she can't get out so she's in there um, just hiding away a Maya can't forget a Maya is spread out down there keeping cool by the looks of it um, and Jack you, you won't be able to see because he's right down here in the corner snoozing Lily is up in the hangout spot so guys 
just a little around the room a little chat about Tessa nothing spectacular but just so you can see how all my guys are chilling today and uh, of course I'm chilling too so take care of yourself your family your snakes and all your animals I don't have any in the room with me at the mo moment they're all asleep somewhere so ciao